it's time to ask the doctor. Yeah. This email comes to us from Jeff, who's concerned about his dad. It reads, Dear Docs, my 88-year-old dad was just diagnosed with a case of shingles on his face. What causes shingles and what's the best treatment? Are they contagious? How long do they last? Well, sh shingles, we've talked about it on the show. We've all seen it. And yeah, so touch upon this, this picture in particular. Absolutely. So shingles is actually a reactivation of the same virus that causes chicken pox. It's right. called varicella zoster virus. So anyone who's ever had chicken pox, what it does is it actually goes and lives in the roots of your nerves. So even though you don't really expect it to ever come back, about 30% of Americans will experience this. And what we think happens is while your immune system is functioning well, it's kind of kept in check. But when you're sick from something else or you're stressed out, or in many cases, just as we get older, our cellular immunity which keeps it under control doesn't work as well and so it always reactivates along one nerve root and so that's kind of the tip off if you get this painful red rash with a whole bunch of blisters and it's always on one side kind of in one area that is often zoster or shingles in this particular case what's really troublesome is that this is obviously on the face so it's very painful and crusted but it's also one of those rarer cases which is about 10 to 25 percent that involve the eye and that's called herpes zoster ophthalmicus and that can cause tearing blurred vision a lot of pain in the eye and actually can cause problems with the cornea the retina can increase pressure called glaucoma and in very rare cases can even cause blindness so if you ever get this and it's involving that region of your eye which is innervated by the ophthalmic nerve sometimes even the nasal tip but anything around the eye like what you saw in that picture definitely needs to be evaluated by a doctor because you need to get on antiviral medication right and it away. won't always be that obvious no no this this this, I think, is very sad because in a lot of older people especially, this is quite painful. Mm -hmm. And if they have some element of dementia and they can't communicate that with you or their caregiver, it gets much more advanced like this before it's caught. So, yeah. Talk about one of the questions Jeff had was, is it contagious? Mm -hmm. And this is an interesting one in that regard, right? It is, because it's contagious to anybody who hasn't had chicken pox, but you can't transmit this to someone who's had chicken pox. So I often get that question about spouses, oh, am I going to get this? No, not if they have that immunity already. And I don't know if we're all more stressed out, but it seems like people are getting shingles at younger and younger ages. Mm -hmm. yeah. Am I wrong? No, or I, is this well, just an observation I I'm making? Just, when I was backstage, uh, I was speaking to one of the producers who's had two sisters in their 20s, 30s who've had shingles. Mm -hmm. And that's really young. Who, who didn't have chicken pox then, obviously. No, they had. <clears throat> they had had chicken pox, so and now they had shingles at a very a surprisingly young age. That yeah. is surprising. Is yeah. My, my first patient who had shingles in the ER, and, and I'll never forget this because this is why you have to do a really thorough exam. So I'm a young, not even a doctor yet, young medical student. I go in, I'm evaluating someone for chest pain. And it was classic cardiac chest pain when you asked questions but my superior went in did did his evaluation came out and said what did you forget to do and what I had forgotten to do is look at the skin That's right. so this was not cardiac chest pain they had chest pain because the, the shingles was just starting to show but all that pain was from the shingles That's right. and I had and so it was radiating pain almost. But, but it was very subtle because a lot of times the pain will precede sometimes the actual rash. The shingles outbreak actually will run along a nerve and give you a band-like pain that radiates. Anyway, that was a lesson I learned very early in my career, and I never missed that again. Right. But it gets back to shingles can sometimes masquerade as a lot of things early on. And it can, it can be some of the worst pain a patient ever experiences. I take care of some of the worst pain people experience because I take care of kidney stones. Mm. But I've had patients who've had kidney stones and shingles, and shingles is worse. And the problem with a kidney stone is you can get rid of it, you can go in there and take it out if it's just too much and you can't pass it. Shingles, it's gotta run its course. And it can be, it can be really devastating, really distressing for these people.